you know, peace and love and unity on earth and all of that kind of stuff. 300,000 in, in Iran unable to get an education. And there have been all kinds of persecutions against the Baha'is in Iran from the, from the get-go. You know, tens of thousands were put to death. And during, after the Iranian revolution, they, they were just simply kill Baha'is, but there was such an international outcry that they decided to, like, use all these other measures to try and just kind of quash the Baha'i community. And it, it really opened my eyes when I thought about this as a human rights issue, because we don't think about, we think about certain kind of inalienable human rights, but the right to like, to get an education if you want to get an education, and you have the ability and the means and the wherewithal to get an education. I mean, I keep thinking like, here we are in Boston, and all these amazing universities here, it's really a center of learning for the world. Maybe the preeminent city of learning in the entire world. And um, could you imagine if the US government hated Buddhists, and you were a Buddhist, and you went and you applied at BU, and they're like, you're a Buddhist, no way. And then you went, you know, you went to Harvard, you went to BC, you went, you couldn't even go to like, uh, you know, community college up the, up the road. No place would, would allow you. And so then you get together with your other Buddhist friends and start, you know, get some borrowed textbooks and labs and start working and then uh, and not only that, you're arrested, and the teachers that are helping you are arrested and put into prison. It's a, it's a mind-boggling thing. We take our education here really for granted in the United States, and, um, uh, and you know, I, I, I believe that education is, it's, um, it's not just like a nice thing to get a job. Like, it's an important part of being a human being. It's what makes us who we are. It's good for our hearts and our minds and our souls. And I have a seven-year-old son, and I think about his education and how we lived in Iran, if by ch chance, circumstance, we were Iranians and born in Iran, that he couldn't, uh, that he couldn't learn in Iran. So I just, uh, I loved this project. I got to know the, um, I'd like to introduce the executive producer, um, David Hoffman. Could you stand up? Mm -hmm.